Sergeant Rex Colt? Wait, who is this? Dr. Elizabeth Darling. I keyed into your comm when I was examining you. Someone's cut you off from Briar Patch. What the hell was that? I'm sending you coordinates to a safe location. And why should I trust you? Because I hate Sloan. Oh. Okay, Doc, what's the plan? Stay low and stay quiet. The Blood Dragons have poor eyesight and a hunger for humans and cyborgs. What? Hello? Fuck. Scanning cave interior. Exit located. Objective. Escape. Alert. You have no equipment and are completely defenseless. Avoid all contact with cyber soldiers. What's up with all the blue goo? Holy shit. Dr. Darling mentioned they possess poor eyesight. Crouching may be advisable. The creature is emitting bioradiation. I've calibrated your scanner to alert you to their presence. Yeah, you keep eating. That's right. Nothing to see here. in my way, god damn it. What now? Detecting heightened olfactory capabilities. Throwing cyber hearts may lure the dragon away. Heartbroken. <laughs> Squishy. Another broken heart. Come on, come on. Objective. Move to the designated vantage point. I recommend collecting more cyber hearts. The dragons will hear you if you do not crouch. Just remember, the shield protects the soldiers inside from the dragons, but it won't stop the dragon's laser fusion blasts. They're what? Hello? Damn. Reminder, throw a cyber heart at the markers I've indicated. Here you go. Holy shit! Omega-4 soldiers just arrived. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh no. They're rounding up the scientists. Then get out. Not if you want a shot at Sloan. You need to secure the garrisons for supplies. Detecting weapons in the bunker that you can use. Party fit. Objective. Use cyborg vision to tag hostiles in the base from the Overlook. Objective. You have several options in securing garrisons. You can kill all hostiles yourself, you can lure the dragons to the main gates, 
or you can bring down the mega shield. This will attract nearby dragons to the garrison automatically. Ooh, or perhaps you can- For fuck's sake, shut up, HUD. I do what I want. Understood. Just keep in mind that there are two ways to turn off the mega shields through either the console or directly at the generator, which you can also destroy. Blah, 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 kill, blah, blah, blah. Doc, you someplace safe? I am. This is going to get bloody and messy fast. Those happen to be my two favorite things. Eat it, eat it. Reminder, you can use cyber hearts to lure the dragon out of the garrison. shields. It appears to be over, Sergeant. I think it's time we meet. Send me your location, and I'm on my way. Coordinates received. Objective. Rendezvous with Dr. Elizabeth Darling. Complete. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. What are those things? We're not sure. Perhaps a living fossil from the early Cretaceous period. We call them blood dragons. BDs for short. When Sloan drank their blood, it supercharged his cybernetics. He drank their blood? Is that a joke? No, Sergeant. If it is a joke, I'm afraid it's a bad one. The blood supercharged Sloan making him even more powerful. And one ugly motherfucker. Why are you helping Sloan? And what does he want with that rocket? Sergeant, slow down, please. We were using the rockets to test biochemical payloads of the dragon's blood. Rockets? As in more red spears? How many? I don't know, a lot. I don't think Sloan is interested in tests anymore. And I don't even want to get into what it does to normal people. That's why he went AWOL? Sergeant, Sloan wasn't entirely there to begin with. Now he has the rockets, and... 
God knows what he's planning. What's with the needle, Doc? Listen, this will make you more like Sloane. Powerful, but without the side effects. No, Doc. No way. I swore an oath to a special lady. Your wife? No. Lady Liberty. She taught me that winners don't use drugs. All right, look. Sloan runs three top secret facilities, each critical to his operations. I'm sending you their coordinates. Contact me when you reach them, and I'll give you all the intel you need. You got yourself a deal, Doc. What about you? Are you safe here? Just as long as Sloan doesn't realize I'm helping you. Good luck.